Sinclair's ZX Spectrum is one of the best-selling computers of all time. It dominated the UK home computer market, which means that thousands of games were developed for the system. The great news is that now we can play them all for free. So let's play some Specky games. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. I'm Bob Grant and in this video I'm going to show you how you can play almost any game ever written for the ZX Spectrum. As the Spectrum was such a popular computer, there is a fantastic community of people who still support the system. There are lots of emulators which allow us to turn almost any modern device into a Specky, and lots of fan sites which have extensive archives of all the games free for us to download and play. So let's get straight into it and install an emulator. My preferred Spectrum emulator is Fuse. Um, so if you go to this web address, you'll come to the main Fuse project web pages. And that tells you a little bit about the project and, and how well it works and so on. Um, but if we go to the download link on the side here, you'll see that it's actually available for pretty much any um, platform that you would have. So we have our Linux or, or, or Unix packages here, our, our Mac OS, our Windows, Android, and then a few other um, consoles and so on. But I'm, I'm working on a Windows machine, so I'm going to just simply follow the instructions on here and, and click through to the download link. And that takes me off to SourceForge, and I should just simply sit here. I need to accept that, and then just wait for the download to start. And once that download starts, I'm going to save that file. And I'm just, again, just for ease, I'm just going to put it onto my desktop and save it on there. Okay, so that's downloaded now. So I can close my window here. And then all I need to do is to run this. So double click on it. And just OK that. And that will then install the software for me. So I can come through here. I just need to leave all those selected, um, specify a place to install it, and there we are. And we now have our, our Spectrum emulator up and running. So now that we've got our emulator installed, it's time to get some games. So I'm going to open up my browser, and we're going to go to a website called World of Spectrum. So if I just type for World of Spectrum. Okay, so the World of Spectrum website is, is really one of the largest um, archives of anything to do with this ZX uh, Sinclair machines. So we have a list of lots of different information here, so various other emulators. Okay, so again, Fuse is only one of many emulators, uh, and lots of other information in there as well. Um, and the archive then is where we can find a lot of the games. So if we go into the game system here, and again, they're all stored by alphabetical order under their game name. So let's go and find one of the uh, sort of iconic ones from the Spectrum, which is Manic Miner. So if we come down here, we should find eventually uh, Manic Miner. So if I click on that, again, it takes me to a page which um, tells me a bit about the history of the game. Um, it lets me have a number of downloads here. Um, and then a links off to various um, information sheets and indeed some articles in a magazine. So the, this World of Spectrum actually has a, a very big archive of magazines. Um, so if you really want to get a flavour of, of what was happening in the home computing during the time these games were written, then please do have a look through some of those um, and, you'll, and you'll see sort of where, where technology was in the mid 80s. But we're going to download this first one here, it's this Manic Miner um, tape image. So if I click on that, and again, just for ease, I'm going to download it to my desktop, just so we can see it popping up over here. So we now have our Manic Miner game. So let me just um, get rid of this uh, website. And then back into our Fuse emulator, 
So we can see down the bottom here that by default it emulates a Spectrum 48K, which is sort of one of the most popular versions of the machine. Uh, and that's really um, fine for most of the games that you'll find out there. So all we need to do is we need to go to our file menu and we're going to open up a file. <clears throat> And the file we want is that Manic Miner download. Now it does come down as what's known as a zip file, which is an archive file, but Fuse is clever enough to know how to open these up and find the actual program inside. So we don't actually need to unzip the file for Fuse to work. So I simply select that file, open it, and we're now playing Manic Miner. So again, if I come in here, I can come into the game, and we've got our movements, okay? So again, sometimes you will have to work out which keys are which with this system. So we've got Q and W move us left and right, and our X key here will jump us. So if we come across, and we can start playing our Manic Miner game, just as if it was on a real spectrum, and so on, okay? So, if I come up here, I can, again, I can come back into my machine and I can reset that back to its normal screen. And there we have the ability now using um, World of Spectrum. And again, there are lots of other archives of Spectrum games. Um, World of Spectrum is sort of like an official um, archive. And you'll find that some of the games in here are not available um, as they're still under copyright. Um, but it is, it is if you have a look around and it's a particular game you want, um, it, there's a very good chance that you will find a version of it somewhere. But there we have then the idea where we can go through and we can now get access to the full catalogue of all the ZX Spectrum games. And as I say, there's some fantastic stuff in there. Um, have a look at some other videos and so on which go through the best games for the ZX Spectrum and you will have some real fun um, playing these retro games. Um, and part of what I'm interested in for this, of course, is being able to rewrite some of these games. So using um, various bits of software, a lot of my courses are based on something called Tick80, which is a very nice and and new, new, new to coding friendly um, development system. Or of course, we can start working in Python and Pygame and so on. So there's lots of different ways in which we can actually rebuild these games and have real good fun learning how to code and program. So that does it for today then. Um, do make sure you have a go at this, download some good games, have a play, learn about Spectrum, and I will see you in the next videos. See you soon. Bye. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.